good morning i had to come outside because it is still super early it's only about like 5 30 a.m the family's asleep and we live in a tiny house but in today's video, what I thought I would do is kind of take you along with us in a day in the life of summer. I'm a work from home mom. I have tips to share with you on how we're how we're making sure we're still having a ton of fun together this summer. But there's other things that have to get done, like the household chores. I need to get work hours in, which is just so tricky because I typically don't work when the kids are home when the family's awake those kind of things so i'm gonna share those tips with you along the way so tip number one is to make sure that you prioritize what's important to you so because i know that i have to get my morning scripture study and prayer in a workout in and if i can get ready before the kids are awake that is like my ideal morning but out of those three scripture study prayer and working out are my top priorities to get done before the kids wake up so i still am waking up early even in the summer because that's how i get my priorities in so think through think through what makes you feel your best in your day because we have to start with filling your bucket because if you're feeling drained if you're not feeling fulfilled if you're not feeling like um you know all of those things then you're not going to be able to show up and be the best version of yourself with your kids with your husband with your friends um just being present so all right let's head in we're going to start with scripture study and prayer also you're just gonna have to lower your standards on how clean you want your house today's monday so we just have all of this from the weekend we're gonna try to get some of that cleaned up after everybody wakes up but now i'm gonna do my priority <laughs> single day is a different workout so Mondays are lower body Tuesdays are upper body shoulders biceps triceps Wednesday is a conditioning so it's more cardio Thursday is back and chest Fridays are full body and each day has a 60 minute option or a 30 minute option so depending on how rushed I am to try to get down before kids are awake then um, will depend which one I choose and then whichever one I choose there's a warm-up and then these are the workouts and so what it looks like as you go through there's videos that show you how to do the exercise the reps you can add in your weight and it tracks it all for you what I found is I used to do a ton of cardio but it felt harder it felt like I had to constantly be working out to like feel good with weights you're building muscle your metabolism is working all the time to maintain um those muscles i feel so much better i'm stronger anyways i'm just a big fan so i'm gonna get some of this done real quick down to a half an hour before the kids wake up i'm probably not gonna be able to shower before they wake up one of the things i love about working out in the morning is when i listen to anything that i feel prompted to listen to. So I listen to podcasts, books, um, talks, all of those things. I use a variety of different apps, but depending on what I'm feeling, I might listen to something spiritual. I might listen to something um, about marriage, parenting, or business. Those are kind of my areas that I listen to and learn from while I'm working out. How am I supposed to finish? This craziness. So we told the kids that they could have friends over today, but first they have to have their rooms clean. So they're trying to hurry and do that. Wow, look at you guys. I love Padres. You're doing so good. So they're cleaning the rooms. They have Alexa playing podcast stories. You guys are doing good. Kennedy's cleaning out her room. Just a sec, bud. It's looking really good, Kennedy. Good job. Get in there. Get in there. So, while everyone's cleaning, I'm gonna take this downtime. You just need a couple minutes in the day to prep your dinner. So can you chop some veggies? Do you need to pull something out of the freezer? Start the slow cooker. I don't 
have a ton of slow cooker recipes that I like in the summertime, but I do have at least one slow cooker recipe that I'll use every single week. So we're gonna use, I'm actually using a slow cooker recipe today. So today we're gonna do slow cooker Korean beef. So we'll do that with like a roasted veggie on the side or maybe a side salad and some rice. So I'm gonna start that now. One thing that really helps with this moment of the day to get dinner started is to make sure that you have a meal plan. I use the Eat Together Meal Planner app. It does all the meal planning for you. It pulls the grocery list for you because we are gonna pick up some fresh groceries for the week. All I had to do was open the app, select the dates that I'm going to be shopping for, so I'm only doing fresh produce. Then I go to my grocery list and only look at the fresh produce thing, or section. So it's already organized and ready to go for me. That probably saves me at least a half an hour every week with the meal plan. And now I know what I need to get started, so this is going to be real quick. We are ready to go run errands. All right, we are on the way. Now, one thing that we do by default, but I think it would work really well for you too, is that we cluster or group all of our errands into one day, or we try our best into one day every week. So we started doing that because we don't, we live like the closest uh, place that we live next to is about 20 minutes away. So if we're gonna go do groceries, we have to drop some things off at the kids' school before summer officially starts. So we're just gonna take one drive into town, we're picking up friends while we're there, and then um, getting all of that stuff done all at one time. So that's gonna save us time. So that way, today's our work day, chore day, errand day, get things done day. Group it all together. We're still gonna have fun with friends over, but then we'll be able to do other fun things later in the week. See how that works. Okay, we actually <laughs> are home now. We've picked up friends, we dropped off things at school. My camera died. I. It's been a minute since I've done more than just a grocery haul vlog. So, let me show you. So, we did get um, our basic produce that we need for recipes for this week, for dinners and lunches and breakfast. Um, then I stocked back up on some almond milk. I'm gonna try freezing the almond milk and defrosting it because we go through probably two and a half of these every week. So I hate having to buy it over and over. It was on sale. Needed water bottles. We like to have those for when friends come over. And then I freeze milk and this was actually on a good price. And then the other thing, I bought some hot dogs for lunches today for the kids. Hubby's gonna hang out with the kids today. I'm gonna put away these groceries and then I'm gonna head and try to get at least a couple hours, a couple hours of work in. Hey, okay, Kennedy and her friend are eating their treats. What'd you guys get? Um, Mr. Beast chocolate. Um, gummies. Gummies. And we're and making you guys gummies. Are making little gummies? Yep. Gummy bears with what flavoring? Pineapple. Pineapple, that's gonna be fun. The boys took their bikes, and so there's four boys, and they're out riding bikes at the dirt jumps. And hubby's out here. We recently just got chicks, so we did not know that it was gonna rain this weekend, so we had to like rush, move everything. This got wet. Oh man, these guys are all wet. There's still a string this week. So hubby's out here working on our chicken coop. It's so fun. We got this um, chicken run. Hubby is the best at finding deals. Show them what we got this weekend. Tell them what we got. 25 bucks. 25 bucks for this chicken run. So what are some of the things that we like mixed up on it? We changed the roof panels because they were all rotten. Yeah, these ones, they're cracking. These are cracked. We replaced these little eave pieces to hold it. Yeah. We supported the door. We had to reinforce a few we things. Put some new chicken wire under the bottom. I feel like that's a really important thing. So we took the chicken wire, wrapped it up the sides, down mm -hmm. under, 
and then back up the side. So essentially like this whole thing is completely enclosed in chicken wire. Except for up here. Okay, that should be okay, right? I think so, we'll find out. Okay, <laughs> we're new. And then we put these in for like roosting. Yep. And then this was the probably the biggest project of it all, right? Yeah, this was a dog house that our dog never used. Yep, he hated it. So but it's huge. It. <gasps> you put the hinge on! I did. Awesome! So we made it a place for them to go at night. Their coop. Their coop. Cool. And then you have to look in this way because I got stuff all over it, but they have yeah. boxes Nesting to lay in. Nesting boxes, and then this lid will pop up it so opens. we can get their eggs out. Oh, cool, wow. How hard was it to get this? So this was all attached. Yeah. And so it we hinged it so we can clean uh, it out, right? Yeah. So what's your idea for the um, roosting bars in here? So that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. I think we'll just do like two bars. We'll do one kind of lower and one kind of higher. And then we can set long just ones like, like this. that on them. So once we close and latch this, we can then set oh, the Ranger. pieces of wood on it and they can roost in here at night. And so I the think. idea is because this is opening we're not attaching the roosting bars right but we're not making them permanent so that we can clean it out so, so like see them. how these aren't screwed on i think because it's a two by three it'll be fine i don't the think the chickens only weigh a couple of pounds so it's not like if they're getting rowdy in here i guess maybe they would like hop up and knock it we'll i don't know out. yeah we'll find out but for now we're keeping these detached so that way when we have to come in here to clean out and then when we are opening the door to clean out we can just take these out move them and easily put them back in we have dirt we'll put like the bedding stuff in here but for now we just have cute little chickies nice work hubby Thanks. oh and then right here so you just opened up yeah i cut the chicken wire and then just wrapped it on the inside and stapled it so, so that no predators can get in this way and we're hopefully going to get a like an automatic roll up door a timed door so that way if we're not home they can easily come in and out into their what is this called chicken, chicken run. run and then if we are home we'll let them out and they can free range in the pasture Let's talk about fitting in work here for a second. So I've done this a million different ways and so I'm gonna share with you what is currently working for us but I don't want you to make excuses for yourself and say, oh, that doesn't work for me because or that's just not gonna work or I can't do that because I want you to think through like, oh, that's an interesting idea. I wonder how I could alter it to make it work for our family because our season of life is way different than it has been in different seasons in the past. So um, when I first started my blog, which I don't even use anymore, when I first started my blog um, seven years ago, crazy, hubby was a police officer working shift work so sometimes he would work like during the day sometimes he would work from like noon to midnight and then sometimes he'd work from like 6 p.m or like 8 p.m to 8 a.m like oh man that was so hard p.s we love our leo families out there and so we had that season and then like during covid hubby was still a police officer he had a pretty normal like i think he worked five to five or something like that it was a great shift but it was tricky because he was gone all the time he's working tons of overtime during 2020 and what we did during then oh let me just rewind for a second so when hubby's working shift work and I started my blog, I would wake up, I was pregnant, newly pregnant. It was, I like found out I was pregnant two weeks after I started my blog and I was working so many hours and I would wake up early and work before the kids woke up. Then kids would go down for naps cause they were all super little. We had full, we had three, four years and under. So we had a four year old, two year old and a, brand, a newborn. So I would work, we work to get their napping schedules 
in sync and I would work during nap time and then I would work after they went to bed. Whew, that was exhausting. That was a burnout season. Don't recommend it. Then during COVID, um, we hired a, a girl to come into our house and she would watch the kids for like three hours twice a week, I want to say. And that was when I worked because I sleep is valuable. I can't, I can't wake up any earlier than I already am. Anyways, and now hubby um, works on One Home, our Eat Together app with me. And then he also has some side things that he does with like vintage cars and flipping them. So he's at home and I'm at home. And so what works for us currently this summer is, and we've already tried different variations of this because we've been on summer for a few weeks at this point. We're like, okay, I need at least a three hour work block sometime during the week. And then I'm gonna grab a couple one hour time slots in the morning before the kids work out. So, I mean, before they wake up. So I'll work out for an hour and then either I get ready or I fit an, uh, an hour of work in before the kids work up and that wakes up and that just depends on the to-do list for work. So currently where we're at is I realized, okay, for my mental sanity, I have to get my three hour work block in on a Monday. So we just cleared the schedule as if I was going into the office or like, sorry, mom is not available during a three hour work block. On my calendar, in our phone, it says mom works from nine to 12. Well, it is 1224 and that's just how it worked out. And that's the hardest part about summer is like, nothing is set in stone, but you have to be self-disciplined. It's not motivation, it's self-discipline to be able to say, no, I have to get this work block in. So if you are a work from home mama or you work out of the home or whatever it is, you have to set those schedules and that way you can give it all you got when you're at work and then you leave it there. And when you get home, your brain is gonna be more available to be present and engaged with your family. Man, I wish I didn't have to work so much this summer. It really does bum me out, but we're in a push phase. We have to get the word out there about Eat Together, our meal planning app. Everyone's loving it. We're getting great feedback. We're continually improving and uh, making new developments in the app itself. But we just need more people to know about it and help our business grow to not only support our family, but the families that work for us and things like that. So anyways, that's just what this summer is. And that's okay, because this isn't the end goal, right? We have our goal in mind, like, okay, here is where we want to get with our lifestyle. And we're, we're over here at the starting line. We kind of started over this year. And that's okay, because this lifestyle is, is a 180 from what we were before. And we feel very guided in this direction from God, really, um, to allow ourselves to be more available for our family and for helping others. So, whew, all that to say, I'm in my mobile office. We call her Big Booty Judy. She's amazing. It's a 15 passenger van. Um, Mondays, the libraries in San Diego County are actually closed. So I come to our cute little private, or our cute little local library and I just work from my van in the parking lot. It takes me like one minute to get here and um, Wi-Fi, I can use the Wi-Fi. Okay, I also packed my lunch. Wanna see what I have for lunch today? Puppy's at home, he's making hot dogs and watermelon for the kids, so he has seven kids at home with him right now. Way to go, hubby. I got a guac cup from the freezer, so this is totally frozen, so I'm gonna work. I'm hoping that if I put it up here on the dash, it's not warm outside, it's mid-June. Well, we're a third way through June, and why is it still cold? But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that'll heat it up enough that I can use it, because look what else I have for lunch. What I like to do is I, the kids actually like these too. They're lemon pepper tuna packets. You can get one of these for a dollar. 17 grams of protein. I bring a fork. I bring a Tupperware so that way I can put the lid on it after because it's gross. I mix the tuna with the guac and then dip my crackers in it. It's a good, it's a pretty solid lunch. It's delicious. Hey, no more chatting. Time to get to work. Okay, I hope, I hope that like talking through our schedule and the thought process behind it helps you think through like what maybe you can do to work or to get, maybe it's not work that you're trying to fit into your schedule, maybe it's something else. But I'm hoping that like talking it through together helps you think through like, okay, what can we do for our family schedule to make it work better? Because one of the things is, so like I had my work block like on a Wednesday, 
but like Tuesday came and I was feeling so behind and frazzled and felt like I couldn't get everything in that I needed to. And so we rearranged. And then there's also several other things that we plan throughout our week as a family to make sure that we're having the fun in. Cause if we're not careful, hubby and I will just like put our heads down and we're like working, working, working. And I don't want our summer to be like that. I, I don't want it to be like that. I want to make sure that we're having fun. So we have things like make sure hubby has work hours set aside. Make sure I have work hours set aside. Make sure we have at least two outings per week. That's just what our family likes. At least two outings per week. And then when we have an at-home day, we plan other things like going to the library, baking something, um, making slime, doing laser tag with the kids. But making, I don't know, how does your brain work? I have to schedule these things in or I or I just will clean or do laundry or organize. And then I'm like, what happened this week? I don't feel like I connected with my family. You know what I mean? <sighs> Anywho, let's work. Okay, we are all done for the day. Of course, I feel like I have a million more things. A million more things that I could work on but the great news this might seem silly but like we were setting up Facebook ads for our app and to set ads for an app it's actually more it's different than doing it for a website so it took our developer some time and it took us some time and now there's this huge learning curve on like targeting anyways do I feel accomplished I was gonna say I feel accomplished do I I should I got the ad submitted. It is working, I think. So we'll see. We'll see as the day goes on. But now I am going to make a stop to pick up some bikes, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up some bikes um, because our church youth group is doing a fundraiser to raise money for camp and we need no donations. So I'm gonna go pick up some bikes, then go home. We're gonna get the kids ready for jujitsu and then take them to jujitsu. All right, we just got home from jujitsu. Everyone is starving. Really hungry. We're starving. Luckily, that's why I love using slow cooker meals. So we have our Korean beef. I should have started the rice. I just totally forgot because I was running in the door. Anyway, so I hope I hope that our walk through our day helped you. I'd love to hear how you're managing your. <laughs> your new summer schedule um, and let's share tips with each other down in the comments. I'll link everything that I talked about, all of the tools that I'm using down in the description. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.